Please read the disclaimer. Ugh. Okay. Nice little racing intro, I guess. It's fine. But I'm not going to watch the whole thing. Let's just skip through it. Right. I'm actually quite surprised by this game, actually, because I don't know nothing about it. But Hello. Welcome. I'm Bio, and this is Racing Battle C1 Grand Prix. I'm not familiar with this game, but I... Couldn't believe it when I saw it. Um, it's developed and published by Genki. They actually developed and published it. It only came out in Japan. Uh, it was released in 2005. And you, to think that while they're doing, while they were still doing their Tokyo Extreme Racer series or Shotoku Battle series, as it was called, they decided to do a racing battle. So actually, yeah, technically speaking, and I just saw the car I'm going to be playing with. Uh, technically, spe <laughs> technically speaking. This is a part of the Shotoku Battle series, just instead it's called Racing Battle, right? But whatever. I'm surprised to see that this is additionally published by Genki. But whatever. So I've got a save file in here. I'm going to go into here. Oh god. I'm going to try and figure out how to get a... Nope. Nope. Try and figure out how we can get to loading. don't know. One of these is load, one of these is save. One of these is load, one of these is save. I'm going to assume the first option's save. Did it just load? It's hard to say. Versus mode. Uh, one player, one player, one player. Car select. Okay. I'm hoping all the cars are going to be available. Uh -huh. So, in case if you were wondering to yourself, I don't think all the cars are here, but no, I don't think they are. Okay. Mm, I'm not seeing it. Maybe. Maybe it's because I've got to pick the other one. Maybe that. Alright, so this must be the car that's... Okay, so this is the car, right? I'm just wondering, maybe the dude hasn't got... He's clearly got special... See what's in special. Now, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm going over this and not telling you anything, right? So, I need to tell you. So, what what exactly is this set? This, this is not a PlayStation 2 random, is it? So, basically, I own a Japanese imported car. I own what's called a Toyota BB. Uh, if you're not familiar with a Toyota BB, give me two seconds. So, there you go. That is a Toyota BB. It's what I own. So, um, and that is the same color as well. So I own a black Toyota BB. It's basically like Toyota's version of a Nissan Cube. Um, it's a 2001 model, and it literally looks identical to this. Same color, black. It's not, that is not my car, <laughs> obviously. It's one I've just lifted off of Google Images. Uh, luckily, the registration's um, blocked out as well, which is good. But yes, um, this is the this is the car I own and I drive. So I wondered to myself, hmm, I wonder what racing games have the Toyota BB in it. And I was su surprised to find out that a lot of racing games have the Toyota BB in it. Now, whether or not it's, if I can, I don't. I'm now I'm using a save file here with that has all the cars unlocked as far as I'm aware. I think. It's hard to say. Versus mode. Hmm. Trying to figure out how to... 
I might have to buy the car in the quest mode. It might be that the good. The, I think the save file is loaded, from what I can tell. It's just that the dude, because he's does. There is not. It's not like like no cars are unlocked. There is a few cars that are unlocked. I imagine if I went in here, I might even have. Look, they got the Fair Lady Z version. You know, see, Fair Lady's in there. But I'll be very surprised. It may may have loaded, may have not loaded. I don't know. But best probably the best way to do it is to go into the quest mode. See if we can load. Okay, so yes. Okay, the save file is loaded. This is the dude's car. We've got quite a lot of money. Let's see if we can go and buy the car that we need. Shop select. Okay, yeah, cool. Not tuning shop. I want a car shop. We're gonna. One of these is going to be car shop. Creative car life store. Auto, auto bag. Okay, no, not that one. One of these has got to be a store for... Here we go. Car. Car dealer. All right. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Let's see if we can find the car that I want. There it is. The very bottom car. BB. Lowercase b. Uppercase b. There we go. There's there's my car. We want to purchase this. Yep. Caution. 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 Why does it say caution? Does it say I might already own too many too many cars? But I was right. It's here. Why won't it let me buy it? Have I, do I own too many cars? I think I might own too many cars. Ah, I reckon I reckon my garage is full. That's what it is. So it won't let me buy the car. Well, this is some dude's safe. I'm not too fussed. Caution. What is this caution? I want to know what this text translates as. All right. I didn't realize I was have. I would have. I know this game is only in Japanese, but I didn't realize I'd have so many fucking problems trying to get this goddamn fucking game. The rest of them are in English, luckily, so I shouldn't have the same issues, but... Anyway. Sorry about the sudden jump cut. I was... I even found a fucking translation guide, right? Which translated all of the menus, and yet, even looking through all of that, I couldn't figure out how to remove a fucking car from the garage. How fucking stupid is that? There's no clear-cut way. So, I figured, hey, what was if I start a new game? Maybe it'll give me the choice of being able to pick a beat toy to BB if I pick a new game. And lo and behold, looks like it did. So, um, I picked toy to BB as my car. At least I hope I fucking did. Here he is! toy to BB. Here we go. Alright. It's probably going to control like... Shite. It's an automatic, so my BB's an automatic as well. So. Okay, this is a surreal experience right now. I would love to change the fucking perspective, though, if possible. There we go. Oh god. All right. Excuse my bad driving. I'm just trying to get a better perspective. Really? That's the furthest back you would go. All right. Whatever. But here we are, driving, I'm driving the car I drive in real life, in a video game, and it's a, oh, didn't do too well there. You gotta realise, I gotta get kind of used to the controls as well, so, right, there we go. So that is, that is pretty much, hands down, how my BB looks like on the front. So, but yeah, no. In terms of actual how the car, how the how the game controls, it feels fine. Graphics don't look too great, if I'm be honest, for 2005. But that might be the. Uh... <laughs> that might be the. Um... Oh no, the the plugin set. Settings with the um, Class C license, yeah. Yeah, it might be the plug in settings, so. 
More than likely is actually. Let me have a little play quickly. So if I go to plugin settings, yeah. If I now change it to OpenGL, should be a little bit should should look a little bit nicer. So here we are with my Toyota BB. I guess we just go race, I think. Yep. SP battle. Yeah, we'll just do whatever. Have a have a race with it. Go. Normally you pick pick this first option, normally is the option to go, so. And you really telling me once again? Oh, he's telling you how SP battles work, I think. I, I, I don't know. It's SP battle. Isn't that similar to the battles that are in Tokyo Extreme Racer? So this one seems a bit more of a variety. It even kind of sounds like my car as well. Like, if you revved it up, they sound very similar. Right, I think I'm supposed to kind of catch up with the rival. Here we are. I probably won't, because there's no upgrades on the car, so... And I'm driving a Toyota BB, it's not exactly built for speed. I, If you're wondering why I got a Toyota BB, I got it earlier this year, um, back in February... Yeah, probably about February 2020, I got a Toyota BB. And the whole entire reason why I got it... Wow, he must be just going slow. And the whole entire reason I got it was to go and do maybe camping and shit, because you can put all the seats down in that. Oh, God. I'm just not used to... Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking to myself, it's 2005 and the X button is accelerate. It's ridiculous. You would have thought the R2 button would be, but whatever. I keep pressing the L2 button to slow down, and I, know, I need to realize that's not going to work. I have to press the square button. So awkward. But, yeah, I got it because I was going to go out and um, maybe do a bit of camping. I was going to maybe get a kayak or something. I think I'm supposed to... Oh, this free run. I'm supposed to go up behind him, I think. Well, there's no way of me flashing my lights at the bloke. Am I now racing him? I think I'm racing him now. Yeah, we're racing. Okay. He said there's no fucking headlight thing to flash the headlights. He's gonna win. Because I can guarantee you his car's gonna be faster than mine. 100%. Like, what does my Toyota BB go- Okay, let me just finish what I was saying first, right. So, I got a Toyota BB to go camping. And I was going to get a kayak, and I was going to do some kayaking, but then COVID hit, and uh, yeah. So at the moment, I've still got the PBB, but I haven't done any... I haven't put a roof rack on it, I haven't put some nice new tires on it, or anything. I wasn't going to do much to it, I was going to put some nice alloy wheels, put a roof rack on it. That's what I was going to do. Controls are quite nice in this game, by the way. They're okay once you get used to them. It's just, I... Again, 2005 game, having the X button and the square button... X button B accelerate and square button B and brake is a bit stupid in my opinion, but whatever. I actually managed to overtake the bloke, that is amazing. Yeah, it's not exactly great on t turning, but whatever. Right, so yeah, that's the reason why I got a Toyota BB. Now, what's the max, now I was going to say, what's the max speed my Toyota BB can go? Probably would say, no, I'm not going to let you pass, mate. You fuck off. Oh, fuck. Yeah, good luck passing that. Smack into that bloke. Now, I was going to say that probably max speed, 140 kilometers an hour. You go any higher than that, then you're going quite a bit over the revs. I actually managed to win. Wow. Yeah, you're probably going a little bit over the revs. I got it for pretty cheap in, in comparison to how much Toyota BBs tend to go for online. In case you're wondering, like, the general price they tend to go for. Yeah, I'm kind of done with this game, actually. I mean, it's okay, it just reminds me of Tokyo Extreme Racer. Which, surprisingly, guess what we're going to be looking at next? We're going to be revisiting a Tokyo Extreme Racer game, which allows you to play as a, a play with a toy to BB. So, but, um, but yeah. Well, yeah. Hopefully I can fucking figure it out better than I did here. But, um, anyway. I fucking lost my line of fault, because I keep trying to say too much. Um... Toyota BBs generally go for like, I don't know, 
three grand. I mean, all I could see them on eBay for is roughly around three to three and a half grand. I got mine for 1,200, so pretty, pretty decent. My dad's a, a car dealer, so he, he came across it. I wasn't interested in it. He just came across it, bought it because he knows how much they go for and got it for quite, quite cheap. Didn't need anything really doing to it. Just a few things here and there, very cheap stuff, all stuff that's under a hundred quid. To, to sort out on it so he sorted all all out and then um i saw it and i was like oh i really like that so he said oh you can buy it off me for what i paid for it i did a few extra things on it but you don't have to worry about that so it was nice of him so yeah i bought it and yeah I've, 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 it's a very smooth ride as well if i'll be honest very nice very smooth but again it's not it's a it's a city car if you could call it that back in japan it would have been a city car, so it's not really meant to be for racing or, or nothing. It's not really meant for racing. So, mine's only a little 1.2 liter, so... But yeah, not too bad. Very look, the, the Toyota BB in this game looks very nice. The controls for this game remind me kind of like Tokyo Extreme Racer, but if I be honest, like... Fuck me, Genki. Tokyo Extreme Racer 2 on the on the Dreamcast had R2 be, be the fucking accelerate button. The, yeah, if I remember correctly, didn't they go backwards and have the X button be accelerate again, like for a zero? I don't know. In case you're wondering, the game I'm going to be looking at next is, is Tokyo Extreme Racer 0, which I've already looked at before. But I'm going to be looking specifically at the Toyota BB in the game. So, anyway, that's going to be next. I've been Bio, thanks for watching. Uh, again, going to be hopefully five games. If one of them don't work, it don't work or whatever. But hopefully five games where I look and see how the Toyota BB kind of drives in each of these games. I thought it would be a fun thing to do, seeing as it's the car I drive every day. So yeah. I've been Bio, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.